On February 25th, 1925, the Portland Junior Symphony gave its first concert. The praise and excitement that followed that performance gave rise to an organization which has preserved the spirit and ideals of that concert to this day. Two great educators were primarily responsible for creating the Portland Junior Symphony, Mary Dodge and Jack Gershkovich. Mary Dodge began assembling children into orchestras in 1910 when she moved with her husband to Burns, Oregon. An accomplished violinist, she created the Sagebrush Orchestra. She taught the string players herself. In 1916, the Sagebrush Orchestra <laughs> performed in Salem and Portland to astonished and delighted audiences. After moving back to Portland, Mary Dodge created an orchestra at Irvington School. Soon that orchestra grew so large that she decided it should be a citywide project with a professional conductor. Jacques Gershkovich was trained at the Imperial Conservatory of St. Petersburg, Russia. When he guest conducted the Oregon Symphony, Mary Dodge convinced him to hear her students play. After hearing them, he agreed to become their conductor, and he built a full symphony orchestra of student musicians for Portland. When the musicians assembled for their first rehearsal, Gershkovich passed out music for Schubert's unfinished symphony. The musicians had never seen music to a full symphony before. Sensing their apprehension, Gershkovich used what little English he knew. You play or I kill you. <laughs> In 1927, Gershkovich led the, the Junior Symphony in its first performance of a symphony by Beethoven. He conducted Beethoven's first symphony.
Jean Gershkovich made the Junior Symphony his life's work. He led 29 seasons of concerts until his death in 1953. Chosen to succeed him was his student, Jacob Avshalomov, a member of both the orchestra and the Gershkovich household during his time at Reed College. Avshalomov modernized the orchestra and gave it a new name, the Portland Youth Philharmonic. Mr. A, as he was known, took the orchestra on many tours that won admirers around the world. His thousands of former students can still hear him admonish, not good enough. Conductors Hugh Edwards and Mayan Chen continued the tradition of excellence that marks the Portland Youth Philharmonic to this day. Learning to play a musical instrument is among the healthiest activities available to young people. Its effects on the brain are being studied extensively, but it's not hard to intuit why performing music helps a young mind grow. A musician first reads music, which stimulates the visual centers of the brain and the language processing centers. Once processed, these stimuli must be translated into physical action, the playing of the instrument. Then a musician must listen to his own playing and critically evaluate that playing. On top of all of that is the emotional component of music making. This may be the most important of all, because it is this personal connection to the music that makes all the long, hard hours of practicing worthwhile. Excellence in music performance is a PYP tradition. It has enhanced the overall education of our orchestra musicians for 88 years. In that time, nearly everything about the lives of young people has changed. But the process of learning to play an orchestral instrument or preparing a symphony of Beethoven is virtually the same as it was in 1927. What was discovered then, we now take for granted. PYP musicians do better in school, and they continue to excel in college. After graduating from college, they become outstanding professionals in many areas, as well as responsible citizens. Time-honored and tested traditions are part of the value of the Portland Youth Philharmonic. When you listen to these musicians play, you are experiencing not only great music and great music making, but also the future of our society growing in front of you. The musicians who play in PYP are the finest young people you would ever hope to meet. Enjoy hearing them as they create something even greater than the sum of its amazing parts.